Okay, good afternoon, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started here. This is Marcelo with Phasing Group, and just a little bit about us. We are your full-spectrum broker. We provide everything from benefits and wellness to HR solutions, compliance, and payroll. Today, we're going to be going over how a cyber safety benefit program can increase cybersecurity awareness for your workforce and their children and why it can really work for you. We have Patrick and Christina here with us today from the Center for Cyber Safety and Education to help with that and provide a lot of really good information for you. Just a couple important reminders as we get started here. You will be muted as you enter the room. If you have any questions, please go ahead and type those into the chat box. We will answer all of your questions at the end of the presentation. Um, Patrick, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to you now. Great, thank you so much, and uh, good good afternoon, I guess, for most, or good morning for a few. Uh, we really appreciate this opportunity to talk about cyber safety and, and how we actually have some great programs that would be of interest to you. Uh, as he mentioned, I'm Pat Craven. I'm the director of the Center for Cyber Safety and Education, and with us is Christina Johnson, who is the program development specialist. Pro she works uh, with different organizations, with schools and clubs and groups and companies, uh, to try to help take our programs out into the community to try to make it a safer cyber world. Um, we are a nonprofit organization, a 501c3, and, and we focus on really three different things. We do some college scholarships, we do research and educational programs to try to teach people how to be safe and secure when they're online. And part of that is, is that just a little Patting ourselves on the back here, we were actually just recently selected as the nonprofit of the year by the Clearwater Regional Chamber of Commerce. And to make sure that you know that we are a legit organization, we have the gold seal of transparency from GuideStar, which is the uh, kind of the overseeing organization of nonprofits. If you're uh, ever going to donate to a nonprofit or get involved, it's a great place to go and, and look up an organization is on GuideStar. Um, what we want to do today was to talk to you a little bit about why you need cyber safety education and why your employees need this. Uh, and we're going to take a little different approach than what you've probably already been hearing about at your companies, where they talk about um, phishing attacks and things like that of what you need to be doing at the workplace. We're going to take it in a little different angle that I think you're going to like. Uh, we're going to talk about some of our award-winning programs, the tools that we have that you would be able to utilize at your company. Uh, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about corporate responsibility, which is really just different ways that you can look at getting involved in teaching cyber safety education to your employees, uh, to their families, and even out into the community of reaching out through a, a variety of different programs and benefit opportunities. And I'm gonna start talking about a little bit about um, some of the research that we have done as to why this is important for you, that uh, we conducted a study, a nationwide study just a couple years ago about how children use the internet. And 40% of the children, grades four through eight, connected or chatted with a stranger online. Think about that, that's 40% of elementary school kids have been chatting with somebody online. 53% uh, of them have revealed their phone number. Uh, to a stranger online. Again, elementary school kids. Uh, I personally, I could see that as a high school, that you would think that would be happening. We're talking younger kids that are doing that. And a big thing is over 50% of them have been on the internet after 10 o'clock at night on a school night, not doing homework. They're just on with their friends or playing games. And, and again, elementary school kids, Typically by 10 o'clock, they probably should be in bed because I know I'm getting ready for bed at that time. So it's really an interesting study and it really helped prompt us to look at our educational programs. And that being late uh, on the computer at night actually has a real impact on the children in their education. Over half of the students that we surveyed admitted that they were tired when they went to school from having been on too late. 10% um, admitted that they were late for school because of that, and 5% actually missed school simply because they had been online too late at night the night before and they were too tired when they went to get up and go to school the next day. So it has a real impact on the children. Why does this happen? 90% 
of those we surveyed have a phone, tablet, computer, some sort of a connected device in their room with them at night. So there begins the problem if they have the computer right there or their phone, we're all addicted to it. When we hear that ding or that buzz, we got to look at it. And so having those devices in their room is what begins that problem. 98% um, of the children surveyed use the internet without adults watching them. They're unsupervised uh, when they're online. For 90, excuse me, 94% of the parents agree that their kids sometimes are unsupervised on the internet at home. So the parents know that they're not watching their children. 94% uh, of them would actually admit, yep, uh, I really don't know what they're doing and sometimes when they're online. And so that's obviously a big concern. Um, you can get all this different research. It's available on our website, imcybersafe.org, and uh, either do slash research or click on the research button, and you'll find the children's internet usage study. There's a whole bunch more information. I was just giving you a little taste of uh, what's available. It's also in there in detail. If you're somebody who likes to do the deep dive, breaks it out by different grades, it breaks it out by gender, so you can see what girls are doing versus what the young boys are doing. It's, it's very interesting. And, and that really helped spur us, uh, as I kind of said before, into recreating our educational programs and what we've put together. We realized that because these children are getting online younger and younger, typically by third grade, a child has a phone, um, that we need to start focusing on how we can reach these children and teach them good hygiene or good practices at a younger age. I mean, you know, let's face it, by the time they're in high school, it's a, it's a pretty deep into it and somewhat of a lost cause uh, to try to teach them something new. But if we can start reaching these children when they're younger, then we're able to uh, make a difference for the rest of their lives and hopefully set them up with good practices. Well, to do that, we had to come up with a way to reach younger children. What would engage a child? Um, you, me, us older people doing a PowerPoint presentation to a bunch of third graders is not that exciting, and we're not gonna have that big of an impact on the kids. And that's when we reached out to Jim Davis, the legendary cartoonist and creator of Garfield, and asked Jim if he would be willing to help us in putting together a program, and he totally agreed and got so excited about it. Um, you know, Garfield has been around for 40 years, and people really know who he is, and so this was a great opportunity for us. So what we have created that we are making available to, uh, to parents and to schools and groups around the country um, is we have two different uh, opportunities. We have the Garfield Cyber Safety Adventures, and we have them put together in, in educator or activity kits that's designed for group learning. Um, and we also have them, though, available for in digital format that can be used one-to-one, -one, where a child can just do it online. And uh, we'll talk in a little bit more detail about those in a minute, but well, the target age for this program is six through 14. So First through sixth grade is really the prime audience for these lessons. Um, there are three lessons, and each one is a totally new story with all new materials that come with it. Um, and what we try to focus on with these is teaching basic internet safety practices. We don't get into how to work on Snapchat or Facebook and things like that very much because we think what's more important is teaching them the basics that they can use. Because in reality, Snapchat, Instagram, some of those are the really hot things right now. Um, they won't be in a couple of years. There'll be something else that comes along and all the kids will be using it. So if we teach them just specifically about one type of app, I think we're missing out. So what we try to do is teach them basic things about what they should and shouldn't post online, what they should say, what, who they should talk to, what information they should give out, how to handle their passwords. Basic things like that that won't matter what platform they're on for years to come, they'll know that they don't share their password and different opportunities like that. So we've taken that approach. Also in working with Jim, we created two brand new characters, uh, Dr. Cybrina. Dr. Cybrina is a certified information security systems professional. 
also known as a CISSP, and um, she is the one who really does the educational trainings. Garfield is good at eating and sleeping, and so he's not considered a cyber expert even by uh, the children. So we created a new character uh, in order that she could be the one doing the teaching, and we purposely made it a female in an effort to try to encourage more girls to consider STEM careers as we know that that's not something they're doing and we need more females to get into those different careers and we thought this would be a fun character for them to do that. We also created another character called Bisbee. Bisbee is the basic internet safety bot and uh, you can see him in the top right of the corner of that photo that you have on there. That they, um, that's basically Dr. Cybrina's assistant and so he also helps with the educational programs for the children. A question we get a lot is, wow, is Garfield still hot today? Yeah, he is. And in fact, he's probably bigger than he was when we all were growing up. As I mentioned earlier, he's been around for 40 years, but uh, kids today access him different than we did as children. Uh, we used to read him in the daily newspaper or in the Sunday comics um, or on the Saturday morning cartoons. Well, is not a surprise. There's not newspapers out there as much as there used to be and so access becomes less. Well, that's not true because of the internet, the actual thing we're talking about, and this is part of why Jim got so excited about partnering with us on this. He still read in 200 million comic, 200 million people read the comic strip each day, and that would be through newspapers, but also online, as you're able to access everything online. Um, they're syndicated in 80 countries, and Garfield is translated into 40 different languages. Uh, 25 million people watch the Garfield show each week worldwide. Um, they have uh, some 19 million followers on social media. That's definitely a social influencer out there. Uh, they're in 111 countries. Uh, 200 million Garfield books have been sold, and there have already been two motion pictures, big screen pictures, and a little inside tip, they're actually working on the third one because, again, that's how popular Garfield still is. So we found this to be a perfect partnership for us. Um, we are reaching a global audience, and so Garfield will translate globally for us uh, around the world. So we're really excited about that. Let's take just a couple minutes and I'll talk to you about what we have created uh, that I alluded to before. We have this all-in-one activity kit, also called an educator's kit, that is designed for group learning. It has everything that you would need or a school teacher would need or a church leader, a scout group, uh, an after-school program for 30 children. It all comes in a box that you can see Garfield displaying for us there. Um, it comes with the cartoon. There's an actual Garfield cartoon that we've created that uses the real Hollywood voices to, um, to do, teach the lesson. Each of the kids would also receive a comic book, but it's more than just a comic book. It's also an activity book. It has in the back eight pages of games, puzzles, and things for the kids to do. Uh, there's posters to hang up in the room. There's stickers for the kids. There's privacy stickers in some of the cases to take home, bookmarks in some of the other ones. There's trading cards in all of the different kits that they're able to do. And there's also letters for the parents that talk about what the lessons were today that the child learned so that they can take it and communicate that message at home. So it's really all comprehensive. It has everything in it that the teacher or a leader would need to put on that session. When they're done, the box should be empty. Um, because they've used up everything that's in it. And again, it has for 30 children in it. So that's one of the methods that we use. The other is, is we have a digital version of it. It's a self-paced learning type of system where it's the cartoon, the same lesson that is in the box, but it's been reformatted so that it can be used and viewed online. But it's more than just watching a, a video online. It's interactive. So as the child goes through the online version, they'll be asked questions by Dr. Cybrina or Bisbee that they have to answer. And they have to drag and drop, true and false, that kind of a thing. 
in order to answer the question. And the cartoon won't advance until they get the question right. And if they get it wrong, it tells them why it's wrong. If it gets it right, it reinforces why that is the correct answer. So the child will go through it at their own pace and be able to enjoy the cartoon and learn from Garfield and Dr. Cybrina and all the other characters, um, but at the same time be able to do it by themselves. It's not necessarily designed for a group lesson. Um, it has all three of the different lessons that are available. And those three lessons, we have one on privacy, one on safe posting, and the other one is on cyberbullying. And those are all available uh, online in, in a subscription, a year-long subscription. And they'll work on all kinds of different devices. You can do them on laptops, you can do them on Chromebooks, you can do them even on your phone. Um, each of these also comes with an e-version of the comic book. And so it's a, um, a flip book, we call it, where the child is able to go through and actually read the comic book that would also come in the kit. They can flip through it and read that as well. So we really are trying to utilize all the different methods of learning, uh, all the different senses where the child, if they're doing a lesson in the classroom, they're going to be hearing about it, they're going to watch it, they're going to talk about it, they're going to read. Same with the online. They're going to be watching, listening, actually have to get involved in it as they go through it. We have had this program out and uh, we've been slowly rolling out each of the different lessons. Uh, we launched the very first lesson just two years ago this month that we launched the one on privacy and have just we've rolled out the other two uh, in the mean since then. Um, and the feedback has just been tremendous, absolutely tremendous. So what we're getting from teachers, from principals, from group leaders, from those in the cybersecurity industry uh, about how much they love the program, how engaging it is for the children. They, um, they really appreciate that we've been able to take it to the child's level. Again, the other format would have been a PowerPoint by uh, you know, an adult. Well, that doesn't always go over with kids. And so by having Garfield be able to do it at their level really helps drive home the message. But having People say good things about it is, is one thing, and we really appreciate that, and that kept us moving. Um, but this past school year, we actually conducted a study, and we, uh, we followed 500 students, second through sixth grade, as they were doing the program. And we were able to have, we pre and post tested them before each lesson. And we found that in just a 30 minute lesson, which is all one of these lessons takes, is that their cyber safety knowledge increased 28% in just 30 minutes. And so we were just thrilled with that because on average, um, the scores went from just 72% correct to 92%. Um, and then there was even some questions where the, only 30% of the children got the question right before the lesson, and then 90% got it right after the Garfield lesson. So we're really excited to be able to now show um, that this program works. Not does it just seem like it's fun and it should work, we really know that it does. One more thing that we've just received just uh, literally but a month ago, we learned that the Learning Magazine uh, is presenting us with the 2019 Teacher's Choice Award in the classroom for the entire series of lessons. This is one award that we are super proud of because this comes from teachers. They actually took the program, used it in their classroom, um, tried it out, and then gave us feedback on it uh, of what they liked and didn't like. And interestingly, there was almost nothing that they didn't like about the program or suggestions that they had for it. They just found it, again, super engaging. Um, nothing kept the children's attention like this uh, that they've ever used before. And again, it puts it at their level. So we're just really excited about that. And, and now that we feel that that really helps endorse um, the work that we've been doing, where we've been able to take it and, and show that the kids, it actually makes a difference and that the teachers like it. A couple of quick things, just so you know that all this materials that we've created meets numerous national standards for education. We've had it reviewed by a third party uh, to look it over and how it meets ISTE and AASL's standards um, for education and the different criteria that it meets. This is important for a lot of schools 
to be able to do that. And the other thing is that you see to the right about the content creation. Um, we are actually a partner, part of a or, bigger organization called ISC Squared. ISC Squared is one of the world leaders in certifying cybersecurity professionals. They actually um, have 140,000 members in 170 countries. And that's who we turned to when we were developing all of this so that we made sure that what we were teaching was the right things to teach. So we literally went and surveyed and worked with the top cybersecurity professionals in the industry from around the world as to what we should be teaching and how to teach it. So not only does this program have Garfield, but also the Garfield program and some other ones that we'll mention in a few minutes are put together by literally the top cybersecurity professionals in the world. It's not just a bunch of us sitting around coming up with stuff. We really went to the source. I'm going to now ask Christina to talk for a few minutes about how this affects you. Uh, I've been talking about the background of it and what all there is, the programs, but what does this mean for you? So I'll turn this over to Christina. Christina? Hi, Pat. Thanks so much. So again, as Pat said, my name is Christina Johnson, and I do the product development here at the center. And one of the things that we work with and we um, and we found a lot of success with was as we're developing the program and working with schools and organizations was is companies are coming to us and getting excited and working with their IT departments about, wow, this is a great program. How can I help and assist in getting this program out into our neighborhood schools that we've partnered up with? Um, and so through those conversations, we've found that one of the most fun and exciting ways to get the Garfield program out there was to get the program from out of the schools and into the boardroom. Um, and that's where we've taken the educator kit um, that has the materials for 30 students and brought it into the company and brought it into uh, Take Your Child to Work Day. And that's been a huge success. We've had partnerships that have grown and prospered with a lot of different corporations. One of our favorite ones we have is J.P. Morgan and Chase. And that has just uh, taken off and we've done quite well with them as just an example for the past two years. It's allowed a lot of companies to go ahead and get their employees involved in a lot of their different hubs and their cities to take the what would normally be just a, an activity of doing something with backpacks or perhaps you know with the local humane society and do something that's a little bit relevant that's always in the news about data breaches something that we hear about with Facebook and things that we hear on the daily basis and even at the kids level with them signing on with digital devices and bring it into the <clears throat> excuse me into the education part that your company and your employees can be a part of. Um, also going ahead and taking that education kit, you can go ahead and go into the community and do things as well. Um, we're talking to hospitals and to clinics about how it's successful and working in, uh, into health fairs. So with an example, whenever you do health fairs and you're taking blood pressure and doing biometrics for your employees and families, now you actually have something that you can do with the children and you're able to hit upon the fact that um, digital health and wellness is an important component that you can address with kids. Um, we're also finding that Cyber Safety Saturdays is really a, a, a fun activity that's actually going on in a lot of communities throughout the, not only the U.S. but globally. So whenever you think of doing things like that, that works out well for shred-a-thons, um, whenever you bring your electric components and things, you can really turn it into a family event and utilize the educator kit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the voluntary benefits plan. This is something that we're working with a lot of corporations on as well. And employees are loving it because again, this is something that they're addressing with their kids all the time. And the schools are trying to address with the kids as well. And from an employer standpoint and an HR standpoint, if you could actually roll this into your benefits plan or your total rewards program, it would really give you an edge. Um, we've had one corporation that used this and included it with their annual health insurance and benefits package and their dental and included it in where they provided all of their employees the digital program and their employees just absolutely loved it. 
So it would be something that would give you an edge and a cut above what your competition is doing. Another way that you could um, get involved as well is by adopting a school. And this is something that we just recently did and had a huge success with in New Orleans and helped out with. But everybody ha seems to have an elementary school that they've partnered up with in their neighborhood. And you could go ahead and use the Garfield, ed uh, the Garfield Educator Kit to sponsor that school and be a part of that school. The good thing about that is that you can get your employees to go get involved and actually deliver the Garfield program to the classroom. So you're, it only takes about 30 minutes for your employees to go ahead and do the Garfield lesson to the classroom. And it's a good way for your employees to go ahead and earn their volunteer hours as a company. So they're able to be into the community. You're able to provide them with their volunteer hours and give back to the, to the uh, schools and the students as well. Um, also what we provide is, oh, is presentations for senior citizens and middle schools as well as parents. And that also works well because our presentations are scripted, there's video, and our presentations dovetail very perfectly with the Garfield presentations as well. So if you wanted to have your employees go and speak to the um, parents, they could do that. The middle school presentation addresses issues like privacy, safe posting, cyberbullying, texting, things like that, that um, the kids seem to think they know more of. So your IT professionals could certainly go ahead and address that. The parents' presentations, again, as I mentioned, it dovetails closely with what the kids are learning within the classroom. So it addresses the cyberbullying, the online gaming, passwords, how to create an avatar, as well as maybe going ahead and um, putting parameters on their cell phones and geotagging and things like that. Senior citizen presentations, again, is another, pre is another thing that your employees can do to get them into the library, um, as well as retirement homes and addresses, scams, frauds, which is what the seniors mostly deal with when they are online. And it's a good way to go ahead and have your employees get into the community, not just at a school level for the kids, but also address a different audience as well. The fun thing that we are doing too is that, as Pat mentioned, that we are a global organization, which allows us to have our, pro, our presentations in different languages. So we have, um, or we have help in um, other countries, such as um, the UK and the Pacific Rim, as well as South America. So if you're looking at globally expanding, we have the help to, to get you there and have those presentations available as well. Thanks, Christina. Um, one other quick area that may be of interest to you, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but is scholarships. I mentioned that's one of the things that we do. And uh, there is a tremendous shortage of cybersecurity professionals uh, around the world. A brand new study came out literally just in the past couple of weeks that shows that we're currently short 2.9 million information security people. And your, um, you, you check with your own IT and security department and they will tell you that, that they, they need help. Uh, there's just not enough out there. And um, so we have created scholarship programs. We didn't actually create it, we've been doing it for years. In fact, that over the past seven years, we've given out over $1.3 million in scholarships. And we're constantly looking to increase that. So this might be something that just might be of interest to your company. We'd be able to get involved through a scholarship program uh, for information and cybersecurity professionals. It's a great way to reach out to the community. It's good PR, but it's also a great opportunity for them to recruit for your, uh, your security department to be able to help recruit and find new, new, um, new personnel. Uh, many cases before they even get on the market, which it's that competitive of a market when you have a 100% workforce, uh, employed workforce. So it's, you got to try to find different ways to get involved. So I simply bring this up as a way that you could possibly get involved or your, uh, pass that information on to your 
other departments that this might be something for them to consider is to work with us. Again, we're a nonprofit organization, and so we're just trying to find different ways to reach out. We need companies to help us in providing more and more scholarships. Um, so we've had some 2,000 applicants over the past few years uh, for our scholarships, and so we have a demand. We just need more funds to be able to make it happen, and we'd love to talk about a partnership there. Um, these are just some of the companies that have been involved with us over the past couple of years in uh, just a variety of different ways, some with the scholarships, some have gotten involved with the Garfield program or the seniors or the parents programs. Uh, we're just really excited and proud to have so many partners out there uh, around the world who are, who are partnering with us. So that that's our uh, informal presentation, and uh, we will leave it open for any questions you might have about the, the different programs. Thank you, Patrick. Sure. So if uh, anybody has any questions, please go ahead and type them in now. Um, Patrick, how does the uh, implementation process work if somebody wanted to get started uh, with this at their company? Sure. What they would want to be able to do is that uh, you guys are a, a partner with us on this and they can simply reach out to you uh, and talk to their benefit specialists and be able to, uh, we can put together a program specifically for them. Uh, and, and we can customize things, work on it however they need. If they wanted to try different programs, uh, as Christina talked about, the adopt a school or take your child to work day, um, aside, maybe do a cyber safety day in the, in the community, um, we stand ready to help put any of that together. But uh, uh, we really appreciate your company's help in, in facilitating that and trying to help us expand this program. Great, thank you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to remind everybody, um, you'll be receiving a follow-up email from us. It's going to include a recording of the webinar. We're also going to have a couple other uh, really cool links in there for you to see um, a little bit how this program actually works. Um, and I just want to thank Patrick and Christina for uh, doing such a great job presenting today. We appreciate that. On that follow-up email, those other videos you get, one is a, it's going to be from Jim Davis. Uh, talking about the program as well. So that's a fun little video to watch. Uh, and then we're also going to have you guys send a sample of what the digital online cartoon looks like. So you'll be able to see the, the quality of it and that it, uh, as I like to say, it's really Garfield. It's not Pat pretending he's Garfield. We use the real Hollywood actors and voices. Uh, so when the children see this, they recognize it instantly uh, that that's Garfield. And so we really appreciate Jim Davis and and his whole team of helping us put all that together. Um, we have the three lessons available now, and uh, we are working on three more already. So those will be coming out over the next couple of years. It takes a while to do all these cartoons and comic books and everything. So we will make those available to you as they come open as well. Okay, great. Uh, thanks uh, for attending, everybody. Great. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Have a great day. Bye.